now for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Sensible. Hello. Every now and then there is an event that changes the world, like the return of Jesus from the dead, the end of the Second World War, the freeing of Nelson Mandela and the landing of men on the moon. Tonight I'm going to tell you of another event that could very well change the world. But first, massive thanks to my wonderful patrons. With massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons D. Pep, Crispy Bacon, Andy Sibley, Global Mom, Site Allen and Sephiric, and my latest patrons Gemini Luna, Jason Blackford, Colin Field and Scott Emmett O'Donnell. Thank you all so very much. I very recently came across a video with this in it. That's right, someone is challenging Neil deGrasse Tyson to a debate. This is an open debate challenge to Mr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's correct. If you recognise that voice, that is multi Tom Tom, and he is challenging Neil deGrasse Tyson to a debate. Now, I've often asked multi Tom Tom to debate me, but he has always declined. I assume it's because he doesn't think that I'll be up to the challenge, um, and also he points out that I am a monetised channel and he doesn't want to. Um, get me lots of views so I earn lots of money. So I suppose I can understand that. I'd also assume that perhaps multi Tom Tom just doesn't have the guts, but I guess I've been shown to be wrong. Let's hear Tom Tom's challenge to Neil. Dear sir, I am challenging you to an open debate on a platform of your choice. I think you might have missed a trick there, uh, Tom Tom. I think you should also specify one that's not monetized so that Neil doesn't make lots of money off your back. On the Wikipedia page about yourself, it says that you are an astrophysicist, cosmologist, planetary scientist, author and science communicator. That's pretty much what I've heard about Neil too. He's obviously a very clever man. And you're educational background is quite impressive. It is indeed. Perhaps you would care to share his education experience. Harvard, University of Texas, Columbia, Princeton, etc, etc, etc. Yep, I think my initial assessment was probably quite accurate. He's a very clever guy. Now, due to the, uh, the wonders of modern technology, we can use video conferencing and you can also uh, choose a moderator of your preference. It could be anyone you like. Now I think that's very honest of you, Tom Tom. It means that Neil can be confident of a fair debate. And what, it, what makes it so interesting is that I, on the other hand, I am the complete opposite of yourself. I. I'm just an idiot on the internet. Are you sure you really want to put yourself down like that, Tom Tom, just before this debate with Neil? And I'm sure you know the story of David and Goliath, Rocky Balboa, Luke Skywalker, etc., etc. Do you really consider him to be David compared to your Goliath? You don't think he's more of a challenge than that? Now, the debate topics, if agreeable by yourself, are the following quantum mechanics interesting first choice and it's going to be great seeing you explain that to Neil astronomy astrophysics in peril contradictions in astronomy astrophysics 
Well, now you've chosen a toughie because I suspect Neil may know quite a bit about those two. NASA and other space agencies. Now you're giving him another topic where he probably has a good grounding. The true Earth cosmology. Overhauling the current education system. Well, it is true that Neil is a science communicator and so, of course, is interested in education. But I would think that it would be a more interesting debate to keep to the science and keep away from the political side of things. Any other topic that is not mentioned above. Wow, you really do have balls, Morty Tom Tom. But that is going to require some prep to make sure you're ready. I mean, what if he turns around and he says that the next topic is his mum's favourite episodes of Dallas, season 9? On a side note, on the Wikipedia page, it says Tyson lived near the World Trade Centre and was, a, was an eyewitness to the September 11, 2001 attacks. He wrote a widely circulated letter on what he saw. Footage he filmed on the day was included in the 2008 documentary film 102 Minutes that changed America. If you don't object, uh, we could expand on that. We could talk about that uh, if you prefer. Well, I would presume that Neil would much prefer to stick to the science, which is his speciality, rather than something that he just witnessed, which also may bring back some bad memories. I think it would be kinder to let him stick to the science. If you accept my challenge to a debate, please contact me via the YouTube page. Perhaps it'd be worth posting a free and disposable email address to make it easier for Neil to contact you, Tom Tom. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, Tom Tom, I am impressed that you are open to holding a debate with Neil. Uh, I am a little disappointed that you've not seemed willing to debate me, but never mind. If there's any way I could help getting Neil in touch with you, uh, I would gladly do so. I did notice in the comments of your video, Tom Tom, a posting by Carl M, where he said, Dunning-Kruger at its finest. And you replied, who's that? I will debate him too. It's quite gratifying actually seeing you come out your shell and being willing to stand up for what you believe. I might be able to help you with this one though. A couple months ago, I actually bumped into Dunning-Kruger on a Flat Earth Discord server and... During that conversation, we exchange contact details. So, if you are up to debating Dunning-Kruger, Tom Tom, then I'm willing to get it organised for you. All you need to do is just post a short video saying, Mr Sensible, I would like to debate Dunning-Kruger, and I'll get it organised for you. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! I hope this helps. Until next time. Stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.